Hey guys, it's Monica and we are back from our European adventure and oh my gosh, what an adventure it was. I'm going to share a couple of things in this video that made a huge difference on our trip. I'm not going to share the trip yet. I'm going to be doing that in a, um, a video, upcoming video. But some of the products I brought, did I, you know, I tried to do the capsule wardrobe and I tried to do carry-on only. So that meant that it was limited and um, did it work out? <laughs> what do I wish I didn't bring? Did I bring too much of anything? Um, and what, what am I going to be sure to bring again when we do this trip again? And we are. So if you are curious about for my 70 year old skin how I survived three weeks in Europe Ugh, with limited supplies. <laughs> Stay tuned. Okay, Whew. so when we decided that we were going to go on this trip, we had booked our airline tickets ahead of time, knowing that we were going to have an extended time frame in Europe. And I knew the two things that I knew was that the beginning of the trip, we were going to be going to visit Bamberg, uh, Zeil, which is Jay's biological family. That's where they were. We knew that we were going to visit his birthplace. We knew that we were going to spend some time with his family, we hoped. So we knew that. And then we knew at one point we were going to go to the other end of Germany, to Stuttgart, to visit with my family, my mother's side of the family, the Kaldun, and my father's side of the family, the Mala side. And so we're going to do four days in that area exploring and stuff like that. So those were the two known things. And then after we had booked our tickets, um, then I started to panic a little. I'm thinking, how am I going to fill three weeks in Europe? I can't speak the language very good. I can understand it to some degree if people talk really slow and I can see their hands. <laughs> so um, we had caught a cancellation on a river cruise that worked in our time frame. So the only thing was to grab this river cruise, it... Um, we had to go back to Amsterdam. We had to go to Amsterdam. We flew Boston, Amsterdam, Frankfurt. So we knew that we would have to go back to Amsterdam and then catch the Viking River cruise and do seven days along the Rhine River, stopping at all these beautiful sites and exploring and seeing all these castles and palaces and all that and ending up in Basel, Switzerland. And then from there, we were going to take a train to Stuttgart, Germany to spend the last four or five days with my family. So I had joined a couple of Viking Facebook groups and um, I had I had read about sometimes they offer you a move over offer, which is very similar to like if you get on an airplane that's oversold and they say, will you give up your seat? They give you this, they give you that. Well, I never thought it would happen. And so I had mentioned it to Jay. I said, what if? So we talked about the what if, but never thinking anything would come about. Well, the night before we were getting on our train, we had bought our train tickets here in the States to go from... Uh, Wurzburg, which was the nearest big city near where we were, Zeil in Bamberg, and we were going to go to Amsterdam and catch our boat, the river cruise, the next day. So the night before we were due to leave, um, we got an email. I got an email from Viking Cruise Line saying, we have a move-over offer. I almost died. I couldn't believe it. So I opened it up, and sure enough, it was a move-over offer. First come, first serve. So we didn't have any idea. I just knew that we had to act fast if we were going to do that, take it. And, but we had no idea if we would get it. So I looked at Jay. He looked at me and said, we already discussed this. Let's go for it. You know, we're going to go on an adventure. So we said, yes, we would take it. Well, within like five minutes or so, we got a phone call from Viking explaining what the move over offer was. So they would totally rebate the funds that we spent or would incur for our river cruise, not our airline tickets because we booked that separately. Had we gone through Viking for the airline, the hotel, all of that would have been taken care of, but we didn't because we were doing a different cruise, different type of trip. So um, they explained that. 
we could we could have an upgraded cruise. Now we had a balcony stateroom, right? We had a really a small balcony stateroom, and um, they said they would give us the um, the upgrade to that where you had a balcony, then you had a little French balcony, so you had like your bedroom off to the side and stuff like that. And so total upgrade anytime in um, 2025, we could pick our dates, but it had to be the same cruise, Amsterdam, Basel, all of that. Totally, totally free, ex including our excursions. Um, in that within 21 days, they, the money that we spent for the Viking River Cruise, which was significant, um, would be rebated in our bank account or however we paid for it. And we did pay for it out of our debit at that time. So... We took it. We just jumped on it. So we decided very quickly. We had to book for next year, which we did in September. It was like amazing. So we decided very quickly that none of our, our tickets, our, our uh, train tickets and all of that, none of that was refundable. Neither was our hotel in Amsterdam. So we decided we're going to go to Amsterdam anyways and see if we could find a hotel that, would, that we could stay in longer or the hotel we were in if they would extend it and explore Amsterdam because that was the one regret I had that we would not have time to explore Amsterdam on this trip. So we took the train, we went over there, um, Carry on luggage only, right? So minimum. And we had to, we did a lot of walking, cobblestone streets. But anyways, we got to our hotel in Amsterdam, explained that we wanted to stay till maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. And um, could they accommodate us? Well, not only could they accommodate us, they gave us a great deal. They also upgraded our room. So it was an absolutely beautiful room uh, with gorgeous river views. And, um, and we stayed until actually Wednesday morning. So we spent unexpectedly, um, Saturday night, Sunday night, Monday night, and Tuesday night, which was the longest time in one location that we had and uh, in that hotel. And we explored all around Amsterdam. It was like amazing. Well, very quickly, I learned that I had brought way too much makeup, way too much makeup. I had bought the eyeshadow pad um, pod that I put together with the little eyeshadow um, little things that you got from Sephora and Ulta and all that and then I decanted into this palette. I had also brought another palette and then I brought all my eyeshadow brushes. Well, I learned very, very quickly that I didn't need any of that because what I ended up doing, I had bought um, these, I had been for quite a while on a quest for um, eyeshadow sticks, basically. And I had purchased some Thrive, I think it was Thrive. Anyways, long story short, uh, somebody swiped them from the post office and I never repurchased it. So uh, at the same time, I had also bought some, uh, I think it is Julep Beauty, and I had bought some of their sticks. And I wanted to see how these eyeshadow sticks would actually work. This is the cream to powder sticks. Um, the It has the eyeshadow on one end, right, that you can roll up, and then it has the blending on the other end. So I really didn't need my, all my all my brushes. Well, I ended up using these four colors, and let me let me see. <clears throat> I don't have my glasses. Oh yes, I do. My glasses. Hold on. So the four colors that I ended up using was the. The Pearl Shimmer, which I really liked. And also, the I think this is the Vanilla Matte. I put the Vanilla Matte on my eyes all over. And then I used a combination of the Charcoal Matte and the... Um, yeah, it was basically the Charcoal Matte and the sort of like the Amethyst, Smoky Amethyst Shimmer. And these were the four that I used the entire trip. Now, when I tell you that I had brushes that, you know, I had all my brushes and my palettes and all that, never touched it. These I would put on in the morning and I, I did use the MAC, partly the, you know, for the, uh, the primer. I brought this, but I decanted it into a tiny small thing. So I would put that on. Then I would put the base, the vanilla on, and then I would go in with the charcoal around my outer edge and sometimes with the amethyst just a little bit. And I'll always be blending it. 
and then I would end up with the pearl shimmer usually right around the insides of my eyes because I do like a little bit of glitter even though I have 70 year old eyes. These things lasted all day, all day. I couldn't believe how long they lasted. And if I wanted to just darken it, I just went over it and darkened it a little bit. But it's all I needed for Europe. I mean, I did not need any of my brushes. I would probably bring just one blending brush when I go again, um, just because, you know. So I would probably bring the one blending brush. I had also, and this was actually gifted to me, so I'm gonna just talk about, this is Revant. You may have seen this. They have eyeliners, they have all sorts of different, um, I think products for your eyes, but this gel eyeliner, they sent me a package of gel eyeliners. I think I might've mentioned this in my one of my previous videos. So I decided to, to, I really liked how these gel eyeliners were working on me before I went to Europe. So I decided I was gonna take two of them with me. And the two that I took with me um, ended up being, whoops, I lost it. Um, ended up being a brown and a black. And I have to use the black very sparingly because it is dark and the brown is kind of light, but I could put it on thicker and I could use the brown for especially underneath my eyes. Well, when I tell you guys that I would do this in the morning and then I would maybe walk all over the place, cobblestone streets, we visited the most gorgeous locations, uh, fairy tale locations, and we, we saw a lot of off the beaten path stuff. But on average, 20, 25,000 steps a day. Um, and we walked just about everywhere, just about everywhere. Walked, took trains, took buses. I would get back at the end of the day to the room, to wherever we were sleeping that night. And my eyes were intact. This stuff, th this stuff lasted all day. It did not, did not look Icky did not rub off, did not smudge. It was just, it was just perfect for me, for my eyes. So when I came home, we got back into our swim routine and I would put this on and I would, same thing, all day I went swimming. Um, and then after swimming, I went in the shower, you know, at the, at the gym. Um, I didn't like wash my face. I just kind of rinsed my body off and all that to get chlorine or anything like that off. And I never get my hair wet. This would work, this lasted through workouts, through swimming, through Europe, 20 to 25,000 steps a day. I absolutely love these. Again, the julep I bought, the Revent was gifted to me from the company, no strings attached. She said, try it, see if you like it. I love it, I absolutely love it. And these will go on Europe to Europe with me again next time. So because Viking made such a wonderful offer of us re being able to redo this we did have to book uh that trip we booked it for next september same trip amsterdam to basel um and so after we spent a few days in amsterdam you know well while we're in amsterdam we're thinking now what do we do because we were not due for my family till sunday and i didn't want to reach out and say can we come early or anything like that i mean i you know i didn't want that i didn't want anyone to go out of their way and and you know do anything like that so we decided, well, let's just go to Switzerland. <laughs> so where? So we went to Lucerne, Switzerland. We took the train from Amsterdam. It was a long day. We had, I think, one or two changes of trains. And, um, and then we went to Lucerne. We got a, it was hard to get a room because Lucerne is a very, very popular tourist area. Lake Lucerne is gorgeous. That whole area is beautiful, super expensive. But we, we, we got a, a, a room. We had to take a bus, uh, a short bus ride, and then we walked 10 minutes to our hotel. And uh, it was on Lake Lucerne. It was the only place that, I mean, I couldn't believe it. There were palm trees. <laughs> it's like so amazing. So uh, I'll enclose some pictures as I'm talking if I can, but Lake Lucerne was beautiful. And um, so we were there from Wednesday night so that would have been Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, and so we left Sunday morning, really early Sunday morning. So we did, 
we went to Mount Pilatus. We did we did a whole bunch of different different things in Switzerland. Lucerne is just absolutely gorgeous. The covered bridge in Lucerne, the everything was just absolutely gorgeous. We loved it. Very expensive place to be. We we're lucky we got that room. It was more the, one of the more affordable options, and it was lakefront, so the views were just astronomical. Um, so. Yeah, so I was super happy that I packed as light as I did. However, I could have gotten away with one less pair of pants. I could have gotten away with probably four less pair of underpants, one less bra. I brought three. I brought like six underpants. I mean, I got those little tie packages and I was washing clothes in the sink. Um, so there's a whole bunch of different things. I've made a list of what I could have gotten away with without buying, uh, without bringing. But one of the things that, I mean, I use, this is the, I mean, I used my Essence Purple. This is the eye, the uh, mascara I used. Absolutely loved it. I'll, I'll tell you that the julep sticks came off super easy, even though they were waterproof, long lasting. They came off super easy when I was washing my face. In Europe, nobody has face cloths. So I had bought, I don't even remember what brand this was, but these are the wipes that you get them wet and you can... Um, you can then use them to wash your face. Well, I take, I, I can't remember. I bought it in one of the grocery stores. I opened it up. I use them now at home, but I took them out and I cut the little whites in half for most of them. Some of them I left whole, but I just cut them in half. And they were like, you know, like a perfect size in fours, in squares, because this would be the perfect size for me to one side, you know, soap up one side buff down etc to be able to remove my makeup and um, and I put them in here and then I had some of the ones that I left whole so that you know Jay could use it if he wanted to use all over his, um, his body or whatever so these things were invaluable for me to take I, they absolutely worked out perfect the other thing is I bought and I, I'm sure you can get this all over the place, but this is a uh, spa scriptions. This is Active Essentials. I think you can get this at TJ Maxx, um, wherever. But Active Essentials Women's Deodorant Wipes. Oh my gosh, they were awesome. Because we walked so much that sometimes I just had these in my bag, with, in a baggie. And I could just refresh myself if I felt sweaty. Um... And especially on the long train rides. You know, the long train rides, I would take the face swipe. I would take this when I went into the, the restroom in there. And I would just refresh myself. So I love the deodorant wipes. And I love the face wipes. They were, they were just totally awesome. Absolutely loved it. Before we went, we watched so many videos on, you know, getting around Europe. I knew, because I had been there when I was 12, I knew that we were going to do walking. Nobody really had cars. Everyone did trains, buses, and walks walking and that the streets were cobblestones and I knew that some of the places we were going to stay in didn't have elevators. So we, I made the decision of the capsule wardrobe and carry on only as, as, because I knew we had to take what we could each carry ourselves. And Jay with his hip surgery, he, his strength is really good now, but, um, you know, I was really worried about any any large thing. And I also knew that any large pieces of luggage, getting it on the train, where your luggage is, especially if the trains are crowded. And we didn't know the very first time that we could reserve a seat. We learned that the hard way. But um, you want to make sure that you have all your stuff with you, as close to you, so you don't, nothing gets stolen. So we'd watch so many, oh my gosh, videos on how to avoid pickpockets, and um, I bought anti-theft, or they're not really anti-theft. Nothing is anti-theft. Someone can still grab and steal, but they will slow someone down. I bought special locks. I bought a, a bag, a crossbody bag, for when we were on the trains in crowded areas that held our valuables against our front that had slash-resistant uh, straps. It also had the, um, it's like this little wallet that I have here, which has the, um, what do you call it, the R... Um, Oh my gosh. Well, you know, the, the RFID, whatever, blocking so people can't skim your cards. So we really prepared heavily uh, for being safe in Europe. And, I, and I'll tell you, I was super happy that we never had any issues. We never felt unsafe. We never, even in crowded situations, probably the more 
the place that I was the more anxious about feeling unsafe was Amsterdam because Amsterdam Central was so crowded and there were so so many people all around and and of course when you first get off that train for the first time you're like what where how and what you know um, and, and then even exploring Amsterdam we took the we bought a ticket for the hop on hop off canal boat so we could do that for a couple of days hop on hop off to go all around the the city we did another tour in Amsterdam it was just really really gorgeous so we were very conscious about being safe we had a backpack small roll-ons to meet the compliance of the airlines and mega locks even if somebody would still want to grab and snatch the locks might make them think twice uh, also got a money belt that you can't see from the outside so there was a, a number of things and I would do that all over again. Um, this Mara, I had talked about this Mara. I absolutely love, love, love this Mara. And of course, I'm not seeing the, um, oh, here it is, light bear. I love it because one side is the 10 times magnifying and the other is just the regular one and that it has a light. And I love that it's on, you can have it on a stand. You can hang it on a doorway if you want to be elevated to see your makeup. You know, you can hang it up. Um, or you can stand it up if you want it to be, if you want to do that. And again, it's got the light, um, rechargeable. I would not go without this. I would not go without this at all. The only thing that I really was upset about and I tried to replace is that I had a little small bottle of perfume and um, just a little tiny travel size and I wanted to bring it. And I had said to myself, I had to go out to the motorhome to get it, go get it. And then I forgot. So I... Uh, while I was in Europe, I went to very little stores, hardly at all, because we we did a very adventurous trip. It was not, we didn't stay in hotels where we had room service, so we had someone carry our bags. Um, we didn't rent any cars. Uh, and we saw a lot of off with my family, took us to places at times that was off the beaten path, gorgeous, gorgeous, real life Germany, and villages that were so, um, medieval and intact oh my gosh it's just gorgeous i can't even describe it so we we did a lot a lot of that so i didn't have the opportunity to really go into a bunch of stores i did in um i think it was in i think it was in switzerland i went into a few stores and the prices in lucerne were crazy i saw a scarf i wanted to get it was like 400 euros not euros but they're they're francs francs anyways converted to just about four hundred dollars a little more than four hundred dollars us um so i did see some perfume but the prices were just crazy i figured well you know i've gone this long without perfume i can go the rest of this you know coming week so uh, my timeless pouches i recommend highly if anyone is traveling I was so consistent with my skincare. I had my vitamin C, I had my Matrixel, I had all of my skincare here that I really needed in my Timeless. I was so, so super consistent. I highly, highly recommend if you're traveling somewhere where you cannot bring your, your serums, think about what Timeless has, those pouches. I bought um, three boxes of those pouches and they worked out. I, I mean, I went and I filled this up, you know, I put this in here and I still had some left to spare. They worked out beautifully. I mean, absolutely beautifully. I, I had um, so many compliments, you know, basically. And um, yeah, it just, the trip was amazing. And I will share some of our highlights in my next video, but I and I know this is late, but I wanted to say, hey, we're back and hopefully back on a routine and well rested now. Just trying to get caught up in all the stuff we didn't do for the last three weeks. So I think that's that's about it. I know um, I'll talk about Salon in a Bottle next time because that was a, a real good lifesaver for me. And um, yeah, and I did. Oh, the one concealer that I did take with me was my Fiera. Uh, these these are power horses for me. These are work horses. So I, I did the light and the medium. And um, and sometimes that's all I put on my face. I brought way too much foundation. I, I had decanted my foundation into four little tiny little things. Uh, I didn't even use one. So, and that was for three weeks. I didn't even use one. I had like maybe, maybe not even half of one used up. So anyways, 
it was a trip of a lifetime. <laughs> it was like awesome. But I'm happy to be back and um, I will hopefully I will be recording another video and you will see it on time hopefully next Sunday and um, Yeah, so hey guys. Thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate every single one of you oh, And I have so many beautiful memories of this trip. Bye guys